All right, let's take a seat. What do you think? Why'd he give it all up? Hmm? Who gave what up? Yorinobu Arasaka. The good life, I mean. Old news, I know. Just got to thinking's all. It's like, think. You got everything, right? Eddie's education. Your pops can snap his fingers and turn half the fucking planet into a nuclear wasteland. But instead, you're like, nah, fuck it. And what do you go do? Start a fucking gang. <laughs> Steal dragons or some shit. You ghost from your fam, chip some real skin, and play gang leader for a few years. For what? Maybe he just wanted out of the system. So then why'd he come back? Tough to ditch the system when the system's your own family. Black sheep's still a sheep, huh? One way to put it. Crawled back on all fours, tail between his legs. Fucking cheap-ass rebel. <laughs> Fucking tourist. Tourist or not, he just walked into the lobby. And we are back in biz. Penthouse security is neutralized. Perfecto. Let's start the show. Hey, Bug. Where, uh... Were you on comms that whole time? Three and a half hours. Uh... About that stick up the ass. Mean the one of mine? Uh, slip of the tongue, you know? I know. Now's your chance to make up to me. <laughs> so he sees him as like a poverty tourist because he's... He's, he's already got it good, but he still takes part in the crime stuff that other people have to do to get by. The greatest crimes are done in the name of excess instead of need. Or whatever the fuck the exact phrasing was. Maybe you should take up some Aristotle. Uh, hear a joke? Now? Seriously? Okay. So why'd the rocker boy's output kick him out of the apartment? Because he wasn't chipping in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Where do you find the Dyson Sphere? Not bad being heir to the Arasaka Empire. In a vacuum. Sure shit better than being a son of Raul Wells. Guys, focus. The safe. And make it quick. Why? What's the rush? Sig on your Nobu's gone dark. What is he, a fucking sorcerer? Some kind of dead zone's my guess. Have him back in a sec. And you do your damn job. There, under the floor. Look around for a switch. I said in a vacuum. Alright, fine. No one appreciates me. Hello? What do we got here? The relic. Why all the fuss? For years, experts in the fields of cybernetics, neurology, and psychology have been desperately trying to merge human consciousness. Wait. No, we've seen this before. It's for a moment there, people were like, Oh god, he's gonna read it again. No. Oh god, no. Ooh. I can steal fancy clothes from him in this very dark place where I can't really see much, but I can mash the pickup button. That's almost as good. Got no time for this. Uh, do I though? <gasps> hey, look, V, another fucking iguana. Shit, you're right. I think it's the same one. Ah, no way. Our guy had a second. So much for them being extinct, huh? It's probably a, there's, they're probably trendy enough that there's one in every rich person's apartment. Up, oh, there's his pants. Oh, I'm stealing his clothes. I can dress up like him for the rest of the game. Whenever I want to look fancy, do I get to keep the suit? What's that? Hurry up, v. <laughs> oh no, his, his famous champagne bucket's what missing. Now? What's he gonna do? Check in your personal and make us rich. On it. Your turn, Bug. Give me two. Oh, we're fucked. We 
got winged visitors. Bug. Uh, don't know who, but staff's a buzz. All 200 on their feet can't keep still. Can't say I like this. Yeah, no, we're fucked. How much longer, T? Shit, you're a Nobu's penthouse bound. Fuck him! Open the safe! Almost got it. Done. Preem. Let me look to this, huh? Relic intact? Bioshard integrity, 100%. I'm guessing that's a yes. Good, let's go. This was never going to work out as easily as it was planned. Fuck, too late. Your Nobu's about to walk in. Find cover. Where? That pillar, try that. You fucking kidding? No, inside it now. Yeah, this is where the servers are hidden. That was foreshadowing. We're in. But you don't solve our problem, T. I fucking know our problem's still there. Let me think for a sec, okay? Just don't fucking sneeze. Is that... I thought I don't smash her. Bodyguard. Wars. Night City legend. Bleak motherfucking one too. What's the play? We wait. Are they here yet? They approach from the landing pad? Fuck are they talking about? Bug, who we got incoming? Nuh uh, no fucking way. This isn't happening. Saburo Arasaka? The Emperor? Yet another ass licking legend. Shush. Doubt this could be soundproof. Oh fuck. Shhh。アザフトゥレ。アナサカ様。まだボディチェックが終わっていません。私の息子だ。例のものを回収しましょうか。私がやる。言ってくれ。Stop talking. If he'd have sniffed us out, but he did it. No guy at the Unfucking believable. Saburo Arasaka. What does she know? Kiss can I to the moon? そもそも俺のことを気にしたことなんかないだろう。あんたの問題点はそこだ。世界は自分中心に回ってると思ってる。傲慢だよ。よりの分。どうしてここへ。直々に俺に屈辱を合わせ。立場を思い知らせるために
wish to put the hotel on lockdown. May I ask why? Saburo Arasaka has been murdered. Code Red initiated. Attention! Code Red has been initiated throughout Kenpeki Plaza. Please remain in your rooms and follow all instructions given by staff. This is gonna get pinned on me. We're not gonna get out of here clean, and he's gonna pretend he didn't kill him. So we're fucked. And that guy's definitely a boss fight. What the fuck just happened in there? You're an Obu. Just offed Suburo. What? What this means? Security's gonna swarm the place any second. Oh my god, we're so fucked. Did we bring a fucking parachute or something? Fucking Jesus. Bug, need you get us out of here now. Give me a sec. We don't have a sec. Fuck. Okay, got something. Window now. Yes. Ooh, what was that? It, that's not great for me not getting caught. <laughs> and I took his dog tag. Get me out of here. What? Oh, that window? Shit. I thought we'd go through the fire escape that actually has a door. We're just gonna go through the window, apparently. Releasing the lock. Oh, this one is- this, there's a door here. Ladder. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, 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 not now! I've been made! Fuck! Pinche Dios Santo Bendito! Just lost T! Fuck! Fucking major leaks. Happy now, Jackie? So what does this mean? Is she dead? Or is she just knocked out? That was a bad sound. She said she's been had. Oh god. How are you gonna get through this with the fucking thing? Oh god. Oh, here comes the attached coma. Oh, uh, we're fucked. See, this is how my nail polish gets all chipped like this. Plans being bad. Oh shit! Close one! The relic! Madres! Oh, oh this ain't good! Jackie, you're bleeding! Worry about me later. Get the relic! Container depressurized! Biochip integrity at 94%! Fucking dropping! Carajo! It has to be head kept cold. Parker! Call her! And tell her we fried the case? Just do it! The... Kaveki's all over the feeds. What the fuck's going on there? Got a problem. Crowd case is damaged. Biochip's integrity at... Jackie? 86%? 86% and drop it. Shit. Okay, listen to me. There's only one thing you can do. One of you's gotta slot the relic into your neural port. That doesn't sound safe. The longer you wait, the greater the risk we'll lose it. Well, someone's gotta do it. Oh. You're gonna die, aren't you? In the nombre del Padre, el Hijo, y del Espíritu Santo. Amen. Jackie, you okay? No, no. 
I guess. Don't feel any different. Once you're back, we'll take out the relic and run a full brain scan and sweep. But you two need to get the fuck out of there first. We're working on it. Dell, we'll be there in a couple. Be ready. Got it? Certainly, Mr. Wells. Better be fucking certain. We gotta somehow reach the lobby. Only chance to hit the garage. Now we best be quick. You just hit yourself with like adrenaline or something? Great. Now let's get out of here. Okay, we're not in a good place. It's got to be kept in the in the cold unless it's in somebody's body, which is very hot. I'm kind of curious how it's how it survives in the human body if it has to be kept in the cold. Hmm. Is this? Oh. This is uh this is not a glass top. <laughs> this is a pool. Fully exposed. Okay, so we have to cover some ground. There's multiple guards downstairs, it sounds like. We're totally gonna get, we're gonna, we're gonna get caught, and we're gonna be seen as the people who killed the president of this company. The Emperor. And, uh... Also stole this, uh... Technology. <clears throat> That's gonna bode very poorly for us. Where is my, where's my buddy here? Shit. The guy's facing away. I'm gonna have a lot of vendoring to do later. So we've got we've got a guns now. Got that going for us. That's a net runner. Keeping an eye out. Which way is he facing? Reach protocol. Deactivates all cameras. It's like. So you can only pick on one of these, huh? How do I... How do I pick this one if I want to? 55 is not an option. I don't understand how to do the other option. I'm so confused by hacking. Open up. E, there we go. It's really best if I don't get caught right now. One guy out of the way. What is this? Data access point? I don't see cameras around. Oh, this is... I thought this was like hanging beads. It's a gate. <laughs> Is 
Hmm. Can I can I access the data point from here, or do I have to use my wrist thing? I must have to use my wrist thing. That's bad news for me. We definitely want to fuck up the netrunner if I can. Because he's the one that'll start hacking me. He's standing weirdly still so far. Is this a trap? Is there a button that lets me smoothly transition from taking somebody out to picking up their body? Because that'd come in handy. That's... That keeps him hidden-ish. His eyes are still open. As you can tell, I use the non-lethal takedown option. Because I'm a good person. bad news for me. Nice of you guys to stagger yourself like this, though. Stop it. 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 There. They'll never catch me. Are we loud? The music's freaking out. I think we're just already loud. Oh, it's it's chilling a little bit. Maybe we're good. Uh, double tap. Oop, not, not, not windows. Double tap. Alt. There we go. What a weird hotkey. Uh, currently no evidence of additional bad shit happening. Okay, the music really freaked out and there was shouting, but maybe that was just Jackie and the guy I was punching. Attention. Jackie, you, you did not have my back. I'm disappointed in you. I know you're in, I guess you're in a bad state right now, but he could have really... He, we, didn't, we did not do the double takedown we did before. This time he just kind of watched. It's like, oh, two guys. Good luck taking both of them out. That's, that'll, that'll be impressive. <laughs> and then he just watched. What's that? Just some speakers. So that's just for distraction. It's not going to catch me or anything. Open fire! Oh. You know what? I think they know I'm here. Yup. I'm going to have to equip a weapon. <laughs> uh, any nice shotguns? No. This is apparently the highest DPS, the Tamayura. <laughs> Damn it. I guess that blew, uh, that blew our cover, I guess. It. Documents! Hooray! Water, chrome, and blood. The Fourth Corporate War. It is truly remarkable that the large-scale bloodshed of the Fourth Corporate War began first as a simple rivalry between two ocean exploitation corporations, Sino and Otec. Both companies vied for the controlled stake of the failing IHA Corporation. OTEC commissioned Militech to secure its business interests and perform certain special operations. Sino, in turn, signed a, co a cooperation agreement with the Arasaka Corporation with a similar aim. When circumstances at last called for both colossal and prideful security corporations to clash in open combat, the Fourth War had officially begun. <clears throat> Yet, as is usually the case with corporate conflicts, 
The onset proved subtle. Arasaka disables a military... <clears throat> Militech transport. Militech allegedly eliminates a high-ranking official of an Arasaka client. Both sides engage in frequent sabotage and data theft operations. Netrunners from both sides infiltrate data forts to sow confusion, gather intel, and cause chaos in the stock markets. Though none would have thought it possible in those early months, the Arasaka Militech conflict truly jeopardized the stability of the world economy, making the threat of complete economic collapse all too real. For this reason, Netwatch introduced a communications embargo on both corporations. This did little to show, slow the conflict's pace, however. While Sino and Otek had unilaterally reached a settlement and reached an understanding through peace talks, tensions between Arasaka and Militech continued to rise. The separation from the ocean, uh, the ocean dispute marks the beginning of the Fourth War's second phase, the so-called Shadow War. Military clashes between Militech and Arasaka were notoriously bloody, brutal, and without mercy. They waged their most damaging campaigns on the net. Arasaka and Militech netrunners launched attacks with the help of viruses that were often highly experimental. What's more, what's more they created lethal ice measures on AI-like programs that could lurk in dark corners of the net for long periods to make strikes at the most opportune times. By the second half of 2022, Arasaka and Militech entered the final phase of the conflict, where both sides used every resource and strategy at their disposal. The hot war had begun. Around this time, the net and the world had known for year uh, the net that the no the net that the world had known for years ceased to exist. The mercenaries hired by both corporations were slaughtered in open warfare fought with cutting-edge weapons technology. Then, in the war's most shocking and iconic turning point, the coup de grace came when an unknown group of mercenaries denoted a nuclear device at Arasaka's Night City headquarters. Shortly after the blast, bowing and bowing under the increased pressure from the Japanese government, Arasaka laid down its arms and withdrew from many of its strategic positions, but most notably in Night City. Victory belonged to Militech, but it came at a heavy cost. Attention. Is this a new headquarters, or is this the one that, that the, there's a nuclear device at? Yeah, so that, that one punching fight, that was the game going loud. Stealth is over, basically, from here on out, probably. We'll see. Th yeah, they can see they can see me through walls apparently, or they hear you really well or whatever. What? We weren't e they weren't even in this room. Yeah. Okay. So once stealth goes out once, it's apparently just gone for good. That's unfortunate. Yeah, this is probably not the best game to specialize in stealth. <sighs> I do like that little move, though. Where you, sh you short circuit somebody, then just power slide at them to kill them. These look like beads. They always look like you can go through them. Ow! Let's get some precision. I can't see shit from here. Surely I get like a zoom augment for my eyes at some point, right? That just, that just makes sense. I know they can spot me, but I gotta get through this window. Is this, supposed to... is this is punching the window supposed to make noise? <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can get in there that easily. Shit. I think this window might be bulletproof. That's the opening. Okay. I guess this is the ricochet gun. There's a rock here, that's what's in the way. Got him. 
Got him. Ooh. Open perks, yes. What? Oh, I unlocked new perks. Handguns, I guess? Reload time for pistols. Crit chance with pistols. Rifles and SMGs. Hey, I, must, I must have gotten a new tier unlocked by using it. I thought they meant I got points, which is more important. Uh, well, it's actionable. Guess that's all of them. He's coming for me. I love how the enemy oft always talks the same time as my ally saying, that's all of them. We're done. <laughs> Arasaka and Orinthology. Three Japanese words to know. I guess Arasaka and Ornithology are not the three words, because that's two words. As conversations over factionalism within Arasaka heat up, many industry insiders wonder about the company's future trajectory. If you struggle to understand the complicated inner mechanisms of the world's largest arms manufacturer, look no further than the obs obscure science of ornithology. Ornithology. Yes, that's right. The study of birds can help. At least, in a sense. There are three Japanese words every corporate player ought to be familiar with. Kiji, Hato, and Taka. Kiji. Green pheasant. This bird has long held cultural and symbolic significance in Japan. One can admire the world's last living specimens at Hanako Arasaka's private preserve on the island of Shinkoku. But the word Kiji also bears meaning among the factional identities within Arasaka. This group, with Hanako as its center, consists primarily of conservative technocrats who wish to follow the course set by Saburo Arasaka himself. In his daughter, Hanako, they see a guiding force to maintain the old order and stability within the corporation. Hato, Dove. The symbolism of the dove is recognized far and wide. The symbol also aptly captures the character of a much smaller faction within the company led by Michiko Arasaka, daughter of the late Kei and niece to Hanako. This liberal wing of the corporation has unified those who seek deeper reforms, although they currently hold little influence. They enjoy growing support. Support popularity? I feel like they should say support or pair popularity. Both together it almost feels like a mistake. I don't know. They enjoy, enjoy growing support popularity among some pop politicians and media personalities. Taka. Hawk. As symbolic as the dove is, so too is the hawk. This faction headed by Yorinobu Arasaka often prefers to take the most direct and uncompromising solutions. Both stubborn and temperamental, he resembles Saburo, which has given him wide support among the more militant-minded Arasaka Corps. Elite. However, this more pro-Western inclinations and ideas that are innovative as they are controversial have weakened his support from the board's loyal tradition traditionalists. Let's see. Nice to Hanako has an asterisk. You can learn more about that. Oh, the eight book series. The eight book series? Two centuries. The Clover Shadow. Oh my god. You cannot save while in combat. Oop. Hey, buddy. I can see through bushes. Fuck you. There we go. Good to know headshots are working here. Maybe the tech guys were just cartoonishly powerful. They were modeled like crazy. These guys look like just people in suits by comparison. And I can nail my headshots. Here's the data point I was trying to find earlier. Is this even useful at this point? Um... Help. You saw this night help button. There's a list of demons and character sequences required to upload each one. 
Select a character from the highlighted row or column and press left click or enter or F, I guess, to send it to the buffer. The objective is to select characters from the code matrix in the correct sequence in order to upload the desired program to the network. The selected characters appear here to form a sequence. Yeah, but how do I pick which of these I do? Is the question. Because I seem trapped here. Like, how do I do 1C, 1C, 1C? I can only click on these ones, right? I don't understand. Anyway, uh, data mine V3. Is the e, is the V3 the strongest one or something? I'll just hope so. I understand that I can pick the correct branch, but I don't understand what to do when the situations where the branch I want to pick doesn't doesn't seem possible because it, it, uh, the starting one isn't on the row they're making me start on. As far as I can tell, they're making me start on that particular row. Why am I gonna fire? Eep. You're very armored. Not enough, though. Maybe that was just a really hard faction earlier, because these guys are going down way earlier, way faster. That, that guy's, like, decked out and stuff. He seems like a big deal. But he died quickly, too. I just picked up ramen and ran away with it. Like a normal person do. That guy's having a bad time. Did I even do that? I don't think that was me. Unpecky Plaza. Luxury, beauty, discretion. What holds more power than a place? An idea. Unpecky Plaza is more than a hotel. It is a space in which reality is curated to even the most refined tastes and sensibilities. At Kunpeki Plaza, you'll find 420 exclusive apartments, 20 conference rooms, 14 fully equipped pools, and the finest bars. Restaurants that... Uh, rest, uh, the finest bars, restaurants, and that which cannot be measured by numbers alone. Luxury, beauty, and discretion. Our world-class customer care will fulfill even the deepest needs and desires of our guests turning your stay in Compeki Plaza into an unforgettable experience. When it comes to the comfort of our clients, there is no such thing as impossible. Discover new dimensions of comfort. Enjoy the best Nice City has to offer. This is a pretty long level. I'm not really sure how I was going to ever make it through here without breaking stealth at least a couple of times, so I guess it's handy that we ripped the band-aid off by now. Oop. There we go. We're already kind of fucked, but don't, don't need to actively advertise where I am. Hmm. I don't think I can fix this, can I? Is there like a level of hacking power I can have where I can just make the elevator work out? Nah, we're totally gonna fight the big mech dude. In fact, I, I half expect him to kill Jackie. A lot of storylines establish a character early on, then kill- Kyoza! No, that's Sushi. That was Sashimi, I think. Kyoza's quickly becoming like one of my favorite foods, period. Huh? Oh, here they come. I like a precision weapon, but I want it to have some kind of scoping. My, my, my vision doesn't even zoom. Hopefully I get like zoom eyes at some point. I'm surprised that I'm hitting some of these shots, but I, I basically can't see anything. I'm kind of just hoping for the best here. It's definitely less that I can see his head, and more that I'm intuitively, like, that's where his head should be. Oh. Uh. He appears to be bugging out. I saw him go, Vroom! 
flying off and out of the elevator a second ago. Um, you gonna stay broken? Is he the big scary guy? In Pecky Plaza, we already have that one. Is he okay? My favorite game, my favorite thing about this game is how it's definitely finished and ready to launch. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Okay. Hey, got a shard of security clearing. Ooh, ooh, what was it? What, what gun did I just get? Oh, I have a shotgun for, for starters. So that's good. But he looked like he had a giant gun. What was that? Did I imagine that? Oh, it's this thing probably. A light machine gun. An LMG. When you want to fuck up everything in that general direction. Yep, 100 shots. Here's my shoddy. Have we leveled up? We have. A perk point is available. So reload times are improved. I can get damage to be a little higher. Reduce the recoil. An LMG is also annihilation category, as it turns out. How do I increase my athletic skill? Running a lot? I don't know. I should, this slow health regen, I'm like having that added in, I'm sure will help in the long term. That seems like a smart plan. Losing time here. Come on. I uh, let's not give ourselves away too hard. a long time to drop a body. Okay. Don't worry, buddy. We'll be fine. Hit. No. Oh. What? Arasaka. Hundred and fifty years. And today, of all fucking days, it's like some divine comedy shit. <laughs> Save your strength, Jackie. What do you think I'm doing? But she'll be. We'll get out alive. Tell Bug, why don't you? Maybe she'd still be alive if we hadn't been so gung fucking ho. Don't take this out on me. So she is dead. They can like, I, so they can like hack kill her on these kinds of missions? Shit. Oh, they, they definitely know we're here. Oop. Oopsie. Why didn't it work? I have to wait? Can I have breach or not? Uh, that usually gives me more RAM or something. Hmm. Well then, give me a distraction. Huh. Huh. Fuck you! Yep. Come on. Come on, Jackie. <laughs> Jackie. Jackie, please get in. Please get in here. Jackie. Jackie, we gotta go. They actually lost me. You're only making it worse for yourself. Come out. That's some interesting AI I got there. A little. 
I like that I, I apparently have enough stealth points to do that, but Jackie's just like limping while standing straight up. And he like made it through. <gasps> fuck! Oh fuck, <laughs> I got stuck on the door. How the fuck did you get over there? <laughs> how, did, how did Jackie even make it to the other side? You just received an iconic item during what? When? When I got in the car? Along with a set of crafting specs, you can use these to craft better quality versions of this item. When a new version of an iconic weapon is crafted, the original item is destroyed. I think I already knew all this. Why'd this pop up now? Problems if you don't fucking drive. Nope. Not bad. Client feedback noted. How's our ride looking? Tip top. Though alas, we are being pursued. Sweet one. Kill me. Combat code activated. Oh. Please remain calm. Calm. Roadblock ahead. I can't. I'm a Oh, good. Oh, wait, wait. No, no. I don't know if I... Oh, what, where is it? Where am I going? Okay. Uh, that's, this isn't going to work. LMG time. I knew I had you for a reason. My LMG doesn't make any sounds. This is really distressing. Why doesn't my LMG make noise? I love how finished this game is. It's my favorite part of it. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I have a silent LMG. This is killing the entire moment for me. Oh, my God. Can you imagine if the Kiryu fucking rocket launcher highway chase was silent? Oh no. I'll make my own sound effects. Ooh. Hey. Annihilation leveled up again. Oh, does three not even give us anything? No, it doesn't actually. Well, now I'm sad. We did it, Jackie! We fucking made it! <sighs> I guess we did. My medical diagnostics indicate that Mr. Wells' condition is critical. Take us to a ripper dock, now! Apologies, but that will not be possible. Our itinerary has been pre-arranged and paid for in advance. I am not at liberty to alter it. Fuck your liberty! Do what I say! It's okay, V. I'm gonna... I'll hold out. I suggest you try to keep Mr. Wells conscious. It's gonna be alright, huh? You'll see Misty, your mom, everyone you love. Jackie, don't close your eyes. <sighs> Misty, I know. She always knew. <clears throat> Biochip. has passed. Where shall I take his remains? What? The Excelsior package provides for the disposal of passenger remains free of charge. I merely require a destination. Give me a sec, will you? Mr. Wells's remains. Where shall I take them? No 
nowhere. Stay here and don't move. I'll be right back. Understood. Mr. Deshawn awaits you in room number 204. See you in the major leagues, Jack. Take him to his family. It's like, uh, yes, but no. Don't just fucking drive up to his family and dump his bleeding body out in, or whatever. Oop. And the game crashed. Oh, thank God. The save, the last save point was here. Okay. I was like, I don't I have to watch the entire. Okay. An extra from Sinking City is also here. Hello. Sorry, Jackie. Who is gone. In more ways than one. His butt. Uh. Jackie. You're really making it hard for me to properly experience this scene right now, game. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's, uh. Let's move on. The game is. <laughs> This game's just glitching out in several ways. So, for the record, first he gave me the chip, but there was no chip in his hand. Which, I mean, I guess that's lucky, because I've heard of other people having playthroughs where he, like, pulls out a gun and then then jams it in your neck, because he the gun was in... They, they load a gun instead of the chip. Then the game crashed. And then, after I load, he's now outside the vehicle, dumped on the ground. That's, uh, an unfortunate outcome for him. Sorry about that. But yeah, I agree with the sentiment of taking him to his family, but I, I get the feeling that the vehicle is just gonna fucking drive up and, like, dump him there. Oop. You're carrying too much? Oh, you dumped everything back in my inventory from before. So I just did my two biggest missions back to back, both of which, I, in, in both cases, I loaded up a bunch of items. And then between those two missions, they then dumped all the items on my on me from both missions at once without giving me a chance to really un unload them in between. Technically, I kind of could, and I could have gone. I could have diverged entirely. Sell, huh? DPS from high to low. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Oh yeah, sell junk. There's some progress there, but th they all waitlist though. I don't want to spend too much time on this, so I'm just going to at least sell, like, the dupes that I have. Oh, wait, right. I need, I need to figure out disassembling. So you hold Z to disassemble. There we go. Does that make me way less? 188? 184? Okay. That's good. I don't want a double share, double barrel shotgun. I like shotguns, but I do not want a shotgun that only fires twice. Unless it's really badass. And uh, in this game, it's not. <laughs> uh, the shotguns that fire only twice definitely do not put somebody down in that one shot. So they're not they're not the best. Okay. There we go. That that that'll deal with the weight problem for now. Let's try to get back to the story now. Okay. Yeah, I forgot about assembly. Ideally I'll do a decent amount of inventory management off camera between episodes, like selling junk and stuff, but that in this case they they overloaded me and I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> I gotta go. The no tell motel. I mean, they say dress the dress for the job you want to have, and No Tell Motel, they named themselves for the type of skeeve they wanted to be. Like, oh yeah, I want I want to have I want to have like a nice sketchy hotel uh, motel. I'll just give ourselves an applicable name right up front, so no one's surprised, honestly. 
If no one's surprised, everyone's happy, right? Let me in. He waiting. WNS, N54, even the pirate networks. You blowing up everywhere. And the Jackster, he out in the car? We return to this week's biggest story. Yeah, he's there. Arasaka Corporation Dead. CEO, Sakuro Arasaka. The longtime head of the Japanese mega corporation. Condolences, friend. Slain on the and the relic. On Pecky Plaza Corporate Hotel. Got it right here. Hmm. I was afraid of that. What? Saburo Arasaka. Dead. You got any notion of the shit you pulled me into? You off the fucking emperor! His majesty! Anyone with so much as a pinky toe dipped in this mess is as good as dead! You're the one who got us into this mess. Let's start with your prep work. You had no idea Saburo Arasaka could be at the hotel. I don't have access to his personal fucking schedule. And besides, nobody asked you to kill the old man. That wasn't us. No shit. Tell that to the soccer ninjas they send after you. Settle down. Gotta be tactical about this. Parker, Eddie's. Then we leave the city limits behind. But first, your face got blood all over it. Bathroom's there. Go get yourself cleaned up. Shit's fucked. What's gonna happen in the fucking bathroom? Mm. It's me. Uh, we're fucked. Ah, that guy just walked through me. What the? Today. Wow, he wants me to go into that bathroom. One seat. So yeah, I, I, I guess I caught all the tropes and saw where we were going with this. Uh, technically, the nightmare guy didn't kill Jackie directly, but he was definitely in that scene. So they're they're reminding us of him, and he might have been in control of the things that ultimately killed Jackie. Uh, no, he was already dying from before then, actually. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, I am blamed for the murder. Uh, kind of... Is this the main story of the entire game, or is this just, like, a temporary blip? Because, like, how am I going to go wandering around doing side quests in a situation like this?